Hello everyone, welcome to Honeysuckle Homestead Retreat. If you're new to my channel, my name is Desiree, and basically what my channel's about, I live and work in Atlanta, but I have a tiny house up in the Appalachia Mountains where I'm slowly starting an off-grid farm. So today's episode is about how to safely get drinking water in an off-grid situation, but it can also apply to anywhere you live, so stay tuned. If you've been following my channel, you may have seen the episode where I show my rain water collection setup. If you missed that video, there is a link to it in the description below. In that video, I state that I use the water for shower water only and do not drink it. It actually may be safe to drink. I haven't had it tested, but I would rather err on the side of safety and go a completely different route. So I had been inconveniently taking bottles of water and gallons of water up to my homestead. However, most of the time, I would end up having to buy more bottles of water while I was there. In addition, I also do not drink the water in my apartment. It is heavily chlorinated, and honestly, I don't know what all is truly in that water. So I used to go to Whole Foods and fill up big jugs of water from a reverse osmosis machine. Uh, this was affordable at only 39 cents a gallon, but it was a hassle. Uh, the water was heavy, and it was time-consuming. So after some research, I decided on the Berkey water filter system. I went with the smallest one, which is the Travel Berkey. This made so much more sense to me because I could use it in my apartment and also on my homestead. It is lightweight and easy to pack up, and it's also made of stainless steel, so it should last a lifetime. Three main selling points that convinced me to get the system. One, it is gravity fed. Being off-grid, I wanna conserve as much energy as I possibly can. The less I have to rely on electricity, the better. Two, it removes over 200 contaminants, including viruses and bacteria like E. coli. This is super important in an off-grid situation. Uh, you can see a list here of everything it removes, and I will also provide a link to this list in the description below. Three, the filters last a really long time. So it comes with two black filters, and they will last up to 6,000 gallons. Even if you got five gallons a day out of it, the filters would last you a little over three years. Now keep in mind the Berkey does require some maintenance, so you do have to clean the filters from time to time. Okay, so here is my Berkey. Uh, if you look inside, you can see the black filters. And I also decided to buy the fluoride filters as well uh, for when I use the Berkey in my apartment. And that's what these are right here. Um, the fluoride that is put in our water supply in the cities is a waste product from factories. It is not food grade as the fluoride found in toothpaste or what the dentist gives you. And I'm not going to get into the fluoride talk here, uh, but just know it is a waste product and really probably shouldn't be going inside of our bodies. Uh, you can find countless YouTube videos on the subject along with factual evidence as well. Uh, but back to the Berkey. So the only drawback to the fluoride filters is that they only last for a thousand gallons, which is still a lot, but I will have to change out those filters more often than the black filters. So just to show you how this all fits together, um, you just put this reservoir piece on top of this one, and then you're going to pour the water in right here and it'll collect, all the filter water will collect in this reservoir. Uh, the travel Berkey will hold up to one and a half gallons, but when you actually dispense the filtered water out, you usually only get about a gallon. The reason is some water stays near the bottom, uh, below the spigot here. So like, there's like an inch or so of water that will remain inside of your Berkey. And there's also some that will remain in the top reservoir as well, uh, that doesn't go through the filter part. So just keep this in mind that when you empty your Berkey, it isn't actually empty. When I use the Berkey in my apartment, I use both sets of filters and just simply pour my tap water in. But when I use it at my homestead, I actually don't use a fluoride filter. Uh, I just use the black filters only. Uh, the rainwater obviously isn't treated with fluoride and does not carry it. However, rainwater can easily collect chemicals, especially if a factory is nearby. Uh, in addition to that, rainwater can also carry bacteria, viruses, parasites, all of which can make you sick. I have a lot of faith in the Berkey filter system, but with that said, as I said earlier, I like to err on the side of caution. And so when I'm at my homestead, I either get the rainwater from my faucet, which is connected to the rainwater collection system, or I simply collect it from a bucket I have right outside my door when there is a heavy rain. Then 
I boil it. The CDC recommends making water safe to drink by bringing it to a strong boil for one minute. I actually let it boil a little past that. Uh, then I let it cool to room temperature before pouring it into the Berkey because the high heat would actually damage the filters. And it takes about an hour for the travel Berkey to filter all of the water in the top of the reservoir into the bottom. Um, you can get some water out before then, but if you're waiting for all of it, it's gonna take about an hour. Also, as a side note, Whenever you add water to your Berkey, you should fill it to the very top. This keeps the filters evenly wet in the way they were intended to be used, and they will last their anticipated lifespan much better that way. So even though the filters will take care of most viruses and bacteria, boiling the water guarantees me that any and all pathogens have been killed. Then I just rely on the Berkey filters to filter out any chemicals that the rainwater may have. And it leaves me with delicious, safe water to drink and I do not have to pack up gallons of water now when I go to the homestead or buy more if I run out. So overall, I have really, really, really enjoyed my Berkey water filter system. Uh, I don't have any complaints as of yet. I've been using it for a few months now and it's, it's been really, really good. Okay, that is it for this week's episode. If you're interested in the Berkey water filter system, please check out the links in the description below. Now, I have to say, these are affiliate links, and I really appreciate you using those links. It won't cost you any more, and it really helps out the channel. Uh, Berkey makes various sizes, and I will link to the different sizes as well. Uh, for a single person, or even up to three people, the Travel Berkey is a perfect size. And I will also have links below showing how to get your Berkey up and running. You actually have to prime the filters before using them, but it is a really easy thing to do. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you're enjoying my channel, please subscribe. We are a growing family here and I appreciate every single one of you. Please also leave a comment and let me know how you filter your water or if you don't filter it at all. Or if you have a Berkey, let me know what you think of it. Thanks again and I will see you guys next time. If you missed that video, there is a link to <laughs> which is connected to my uh, rainwater connect. Or I sent, or the rainwater isn't treated. Did this die on me?